welcome to your daily dose of mathematics. Today we are doing a paper 3 A-levels question. This is a parametric differentiation question. This appeared in paper 3, 2014, variant 3. And this was a tricky question because uh, it involved some trigonometric manipulation. So let's start with that. Uh, for the first part, we are going to differentiate x. So it would be dx by d theta. And this would become secant square theta times 1. So we know that this is going to become dx by d theta is going to be secant square theta. For dy by d theta, I'm going to apply the product rule. So for dy by d theta, we're going to keep 2 cos square, 2 cos square theta as it is. First, let's differentiate sine theta. It will become cos theta times 1. And for the second part of our product rule plus we're going to keep sine theta as it is, and we're going to differentiate 2 cos square theta, and power will come behind and gets multiplied to 4, it will become 4 cos theta would become 1, and differentiation of cos theta would be minus sine theta times where the differentiation of the angle, this would be our final differentiation. Now let's uh, simplify it a little bit. So dy by d theta, we will be left with 2 cos cube theta, 2 cos cube theta and minus 4 sine squared theta cos theta. So this is the differentiation of y over here. Now let's start differentiate, uh, let's start getting dy by dx. We know we are going to divide both of them. So this is 2 cos cube theta minus 4 sine squared theta cos theta upon secant squared theta. So I have divided both of them. Now, to get to the final answer, we can see that there are no sine terms over there. So let's quickly get rid of this sine squared and let's place one over cos square, uh, one minus cos square over here. So this would start looking like two cos cube theta minus four, and sine square would become one minus cos square time uh, times cos theta. So this is the numerator, and for the denominator, I want you guys to think. That if, it, if this is secant squared in the denominator, if we bring it upwards, it will become cos squared. So this will get multiplied over here. So let's simplify this a little bit further. This will become 2 <coughs> cos cube theta minus 4 cos theta plus 4 cos cube theta times cos squared theta. So we're really close to the final solution. So this will become 2 plus 4 will become 6 cos cube theta minus 4 cos theta times cos squared theta. And if I simplify it further to the last term, it will give me the final answer. It will become 6 cos to the power 5 theta minus 4 cos cube theta. And this is our final answer that you're required to show in the question. So this was a very interesting question. It's not really complicated, but you still had to care for the trigonometric manipulation part of it. So if you like this video, do share it with your friends who might not have seen the solution. If you have any questions that you want me to do in this format, do leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.